angry black woman? Crazy. Why do you say that? Because they're all crazy, crazy angry black women. <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> Why? Why does that have to be a question? Probably the majority of them are single mothers is a recipe for a good angry black woman. Unapologetic. Someone who's just like super sassy, raising her voice. <sighs> it's just so stupid. Rather than people saying, oh, well, why is this woman so mad? Suppressing their sheer emotions because you don't want to hear it. Stereotype. In the meeting, if you speak out or something like that, or you express your emotions, then you're the angry black woman. You know, someone called me like that. Do you think that's an easy way to shut someone down? Well, I don't think so, because they didn't shut me down. I kind of feel like that, that word is tossed out any time that we speak up for ourselves. It's not even just when we're angry. It's whenever we speak indifference to somebody else. Why you got to put race on it? It's just an angry woman. What? Everyone's angry. Everyone angry. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian. I don't think it's a stereotype. I think it's a role that's being played because it's real. When I think of an angry black woman, I think of a woman that's been betrayed or hurt. Typically when someone's angry and they get described as that, that usually means there's some unresolved hurt. I honestly, just think of the movie, the Tyler Perry movie. Angry black women in movies, you know, look like that, but most black women aren't angry. <laughs> I'm not an angry black woman. I'm goofy. <laughs> they think we're all ghetto, welfare queens, uneducated, and in real life, we're probably some of the happiest, most positive people you'll ever meet in your life. Get to know us.